Now we are going to discuss about what is unsupervised machine learning and how does it works. What are the examples regarding it and why it is so important. But before going into that, I might revive you about what is machine learning. So machine learning which we studied about that is teaching your machine about something. That means it also deals with collect and cleaning of data, creating several algorithms and then teaching the algorithm essential pattern for our respective data. And then we expect from the algorithm that it will give us the helpful answer. That's all we have done till now. And we are looking for a formal definition Then machine learning is a process of creating model that can perform a certain task without the need for human explicitly programming to do so. We have also discussed about the three basic types of machine learning. Those are the first type we discussed was supervised. Next we discuss about reinforcement. And now we are going to discuss about unsupervised. So these are the types which we discussed. In supervised, we see that the learning process, that means meaning the data that you have collected, that is labeled data. And we train the machine. So these are the two, two things which we have done. And this helps you to collect your algorithm that if it makes any mistake in giving your answer. That means you have a mapped output also that we have done in the test set of data and train set of data. Reinforcement, there is no data in the kind of learning, nor do you teach the algorithm anything. Your model or the algorithm, such as it interacts with the environment and does it jobs. Now we are going to discuss about the unsupervised learning. Now unsupervised learning is like that, that the data is collected and has no labels. That means we are not sure. So as it has no labels, that means we are unsure about the outputs. Also, the model of your algorithm is such that it can understand patterns of data and the output is the required answer. So we do not interfere when the algorithm learns. That means there is no interruption by human. So the machine itself learns the data that is known as the unsupervised learning. Next, we are going to discuss about few examples of unsupervised learning. So the very first example, and that could be a very common example also, is a student learning by itself. So here you can see in the diagram that a student is learning itself, analyzing the thing itself and resolving its issues itself. That can be said as self-learning also, where the algorithm can previously unknown patterns of the data set. That means it can find the unknown pattern of the data set that do not have any sort of label. There is no label data. The student is learning for any of the website that is available for learning. So the ultimately the student will learn by himself or herself to pass the exam. So this sort of self learning what we have scaled into unsupervised learning for the machine. So that is actually self learning which is there. During the earlier times of COVID when there was lockdown there was no uh, such concept of the online classes so that that time student was doing self learning only. So at that time of self learning he or she is learning all the things by itself only that means analyzing all the patterns by itself to ultimately pass the exam or in terms of machine we can say that to give the certain output or to make certain prediction. So that is an example of unsupervised machine learning. Another example of unsupervised machine learning could be a football match. 
Now you might think that how could be a football match an example of unsupervised learning? It could be. For example, I never watch football. I'm not a football freak and my friends intend to take me to a football match where a match is going on between Barcelona and the Real Madrid. So you can see that the players are there wearing their respective t-shirts of representing their club. So it is going on, but I do not know anything about football that you know what is happening, what are the sorts of thing happening, what are the rules and etc. such. I don't know about it much. So the game starts and I am sitting completely blank. So what I need to do, I have to analyze myself by looking at the scoreboard. You know that what sort of things are happening or if any goal strikes, such as Messi uh, strikes a goal, then the referee is to say that, okay, this is the goal of this team. So I analyze like that. So when I do analyze and I analyze that, okay, these are the players of two different teams wearing their respective jerseys, representing their clubs, or, you know, if there is a goal and still it is not given due to certain rules such as offside. So this all what I'm doing is I'm analyzing by myself. I do not have any pre-level data or any pre-level notion of football match. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to understand myself and then I will cheer that, okay, fine, this is the goal happened. So this is how, if there is any penalty, then what things happen? happen so I analyze all those things by myself so that can be an also example of unsupervised learning where earlier previously I am blank I do not have any concept of labeled data but still I analyze things and result to a predicting that okay this is the thing when to cheer or when to boo you know certain things will happen so this is can be said as two basic examples of machine learning Next, what we're going to discuss is that why unsupervised machine learning is so important. We already have the concept of supervised machine learning and we studied several algorithms there. But what is the need of this unsupervised machine learning? So let us study about that also. So the very first reason that why we need the unsupervised machine learning is that these learning algorithms work on data set that are unlabeled and find patterns which would previously not be known to us. That means it is working on a data set which is unlabeled and after resulting it could find certain patterns which might be earlier not known to us. So for finding those particular patterns we need the concept of unsupervised machine learning. We need such concept. Next, these pattern opt-ins are helpful if we need to categorize the element or to find an association between them. Now we will discuss about association but just to give you a brief is to find any relation between them unsupervised learning is then important. We can also help to detect anomalies and defects. in the data which can be taken care by us. So it has certain advantages also that it can affect us to help us to detect the anomalies and any defects if they are present in the data set which needs to be pruned or removed then it is done. Lastly and most importantly data which we collect is usually unlabeled which makes work easier for us when we use this algorithms. It is not necessary for all the time that we will have categorized data or labeled data. So most of the times when we have unlabeled data, we use the unsupervised machine learning algorithms. So this is the very basic about the unsupervised machine learning which we have studied. And now we will move on to understand the different types of unsupervised learning in our upcoming video.